Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Craft Night, episode number 22. We got something very, very special behind us, and obviously, this is brand new to us. So in my last episode, at the very end, I did say I did some off-camera work, and uh, yeah, we did more off-camera work you know, off of camera. And we are about ready to go ahead and do the interior design. These are literally spawning on top of it. I need to put lights on this thing. That's the first thing I need to do in this episode. Iron nuggets and lanterns. But before we go any further, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Also like the video. I did miss yesterday's video. I'm very sorry about that. But I think to make up for it, I'm gonna do two days back to back here soon. So be on the lookout. I might just upload a video after this one goes up tomorrow. But if it's not then, then I'm gonna do back to back days very, very soon here for you guys. Anyway, the word of the day is no longer firework rocket today the word of the day is gold golden anything like that so if you guys don't know what we do here word of the day basically is an item i put in this plate and you guys go down below and comment i heart my favorite comments that you guys write down there you can use it in a sentence or just comment the word itself but uh yeah i think uh you guys all know by now the word of the day is something that i love going through in the comments i'm always hearting comments down there and yeah i appreciate you guys that continue to watch the series and actively comment anyway we got lanterns now so we can get going here and uh just hang some lanterns off of this thing let me just go ahead and go up here because i recorded this entire thing by the way i was i wasn't using my face cam or literally talking at all i was just kind of grinding but let's start with a lantern at the very top just so they don't spawn there yeah i don't think that's gonna be enough we're gonna need a lot of lanterns and light around this thing i honestly don't know where i'm gonna put any either let's just glide down here i guess we can start by that and we'll put another one there yeah i think i'm literally just gonna scatter them around this entire thing real quick and i know since 1.18 they changed the way mobs spawn so if there's even a single bit of light the mobs won't spawn which is actually really nice for this that means i'm just not gonna have to use nearly as much light as i would have had to if the update never came out but we're just making our way around our entire thing real quick and honestly it's not as hard as i thought it would be just scattering some of these i literally hear a zombie inside oh yeah i haven't even shown you the inside yet what am i doing obviously i've been building it so i've been looking at it a lot off camera but i have not even put this in the video yet so let's go ahead and i think that should be the last one let's go ahead and glide down real quick and check it out obviously it's not nighttime but we do have a lot of lanterns now going along this side which looks good it's a great start and if we fly inside as you can see this thing is just absolutely littered with mobs like creepers dropping down we got skeletons all over the place i'm literally dying as we speak so we have a lot of work to do in this episode guys and these mobs are chasing us outside and they don't realize that it's daytime and they're just gonna die but i mean literally this is just like a ginormous mob spawner right now like that's all this thing is and i'm turning on fulbright so you guys can see but there's literally like creepers that you would not be able to really see if fulbright wasn't on and if they drop down yeah i could die so i've already said it a ton of times but a lot of work to do in this video let's go ahead and sprinkle some torches up on top of the roof i honestly wish this thing was my house every time i look at it i'm just still super proud of what i did here don't know what the best way to put down some lights would be on this thing though i kind of have to wait for a night to figure out the best way to put lights on this thing but we're gonna go ahead and get started anyway and um yeah let's uh wait till night to do the rest of that but let's go inside of it now oh my goodness dude these actually just scare me there's creepers everywhere bro i guess we can start by just actually putting lights all in here because why not obviously we're gonna make an entire floor and there's gonna be like five stories to this thing so it's gonna be my craziest build i've ever done on minecraft guys i hope you guys stay tuned and watch all of it because yeah it's gonna be insane and you know what just for the aesthetic let's see if we can out oh wait oh i did do it in, wait did i do it in the center hold on i'm just dying from everywhere right now but let's see yep we did it in the center that literally provided no light but i mean i guess it's kind of funny we're still not done with the outside either i know this episode is probably titled around something with the interior design but the outside still is not done it's not even actually close to done we gotta wrap around it and do a lot still so we're just gonna start on that i think right now all right and it's fading into nighttime i'm trying to get a good look at this and i don't like the way i could see the torches so i might have to hide some lighting in there this little spread of lanterns that i did is really nice though all right and we're gonna get started on this we literally made some chiseled sandstone for this so we're gonna make this part look really freaking good but basically we're gonna make an entire little overhang patio for this and it's gonna wrap around the entire thing and obviously this whole entire thing ain't going in the video so let's cut a little bit and uh i'll show you guys where we're at oh it's a wandering trader wait what does this guy have blue ice rooted dirt lime dye i don't think i need any of this but maybe a nautilus shell i don't know i actually i actually don't know we're gonna find a monument though so i'm not even gonna worry about that but basically we're done with everything we could do obviously this last side is a little bit tricky since it's hanging over my water so we're gonna have to figure that out a little bit but i think i'm gonna do like a little cool wooden bridge that leads down to this island i'm gonna leave it for now though we can go ahead and check out what we got done next thing we need to do is make a little walkway into it so we're just gonna throw water here instead and it's gonna be our little walkway in i honestly really like that wow and obviously you can run over this water it doesn't actually drop you into it since it's just a staircase i really love this design as well we're gonna do a bunch of terraforming off camera but i just want to kind of get a foundation of what i want to do and honestly something like this just looks so good i think just throw little fence gates and open them up and it makes a cool little shape right here and i totally forgot that our entrance is literally 
Oh my goodness. How did I forget about that? Okay, that makes it look a little bit cooler. I gotta do this for every single one. This thing is starting to come together. Every time I run to it, I just look at it and it looks really good right now. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is my floor. Now, this is the first part of the interior that we're gonna do. And to be honest, I have not fully planned out what I wanna do on the floor yet. So I'm just gonna fill it in like this. And then once I come up with the design for the floor, obviously I'll just punch out holes and kind of do it. And I'm gonna need a lot more sandstone now that I'm looking at this thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find some. And if I can't, I gotta go back to the Badlands biome once again. Wait, is that a Christmas present? Are there Christmas presents over here? Poor Dylan from Ducky. Obviously, we're not opening these presents yet, but it looks like Ducky got some presents here. He's going for Aeolus, Dylan, and myself. Yo, let's go. Aeolus' present is still under the tree. Obviously, guys, if you haven't been watching, on the server, we are doing a little holiday celebration. We're giving each other presents and stuff like that. I'm not opening it until he tells me, though. But it is nice to see somebody else besides me give somebody a present. So, yeah. All right, back in the Badlands once again. We're just going to grab some sand this time around. All right, I think I got enough sandstone because now this entire cave is just falling on top of me. So, it's time to bounce. And honestly, I should have enough sandstone now. And our floor is about done. Obviously, it's very boring. It's just all the same block. But I think we're good. Now, it's time to light this thing. And I know there's creepers up here right now so i gotta be very careful but let's light this thing right now oh my god why are there so many mobs on here i don't know what to do there's literally like i just built a creeper spawner i don't know if you guys saw that but creepers just spawned in front of my eyes one two three four five six seven eight twelve 13. there's like 15 creepers in here that i just counted let's uh make sure we're very safe i do not want to explode this thing holy there we go all right we're gonna stop them from spawning in and i hope i okay that only exploded to oh okay that one oh Yep, now we're good. Okay, we're chilling. Let's just drop a mu- Oh my god, it just dropped a music disc and more- Dude, what is going on? We just got a music disc that we don't have yet. And I do want to collect every single music disc, so that's actually great. Okay, we should be good. Um, It's all lit up. There's still a spider up there somehow. But besides that, I don't think there's anywhere else that these mobs can spawn at the moment. All right, we got the interior at a respectable place. It's obviously not close to done yet, but it's looking a lot better than when we started this episode. So it's solid progress. Next thing I want to do is terraform a little bit. And oh, we got to be careful with this. Got to terraform this a little bit. All right, we made pretty good progress, as you can see. It's not a lot of stuff I like putting on video. If you guys want to see parts where I'm literally just sitting there, like, building and not talking or talking about random stuff, let me know. But I like to cut a lot of it out since I'm just kind of doing it by myself. But, yeah, this is where we're at right now. We got this little walkway that goes all the way around. And, I mean, actually, it doesn't go all the way around yet, but it will when we're done with it. On this side of things, we also still have to figure out how we want to build this bridge over there. To be completely honest with you, obviously, this island's only going to be here for the rest of the month. And then I'm going to change the island to a building. So, since I claimed this spot of land, after this month is over, and the holiday season is over. I'm going to tear this thing down, build a building here, and build a bridge across it. So I might not touch this side of this building until we're ready for that. All right, so we're getting started on our floor design right now. And I just completely messed it up. I don't know why I just did that. But here's a nice look at what we got so far. We're going to do this on every single side. And then we're probably going to do like a cool circle in the middle of it. All right, and we made some progress. We got this on every single side now. Still very empty, but don't worry about it. We're going to get it going. After I get some food, though, I'm freaking starving in this game. And I haven't seen Bones this episode. Is Bones? Bones is still alive okay i don't think bones is ever gonna die but i like to go check on him every episode these two tropical fish have been stuck up here forever i don't know if you guys have noticed that but it's literally been in my like past five episodes and i did have three originally i don't know where the third one went i think he somehow died or somebody abducted him i actually don't know and i'm gonna turn these into walls now because it's too dark out here so i'm just gonna put some lanterns on these get a little bit of light going under here and i think that makes a huge difference to be honest and now i'm on a mission to the nether for the first time in this episode i need some blue warp wood i don't is that what it's called warped wood something like that and the nether is just so much better when you have a light tray it literally just changes the game completely and warped wood for this build is gonna look really good especially in the log form because if you strip it it just looks like light blue wood and it's really really clean and it looks really good with orange i've done it before in my food room as you guys probably know but we just need more of it today now i think we have an actual really good star and i want to put blue wood on the outside i haven't put any blue wood in this build now that i realize it i didn't want it to look too similar to this one right here obviously it's kind of the same theme just a lot bigger okay we're gonna break all of our torches and just see what it looks like now that we have a little bit of design and uh honestly it's pretty lit in here i mean obviously it needs lights at the end and we need a middle thing we're probably gonna drop down a big chandelier or something but honestly dude i don't even know what this thing is still like <laughs> i'm obviously building this huge project what I want to do in here is make sure I have a story that has villagers on it with trades for us. I'll probably transport them all off camera because that's going to be a lot of work. That'll probably happen on the second story as well. And then I think I want to do a third story that's just a big library where I can connect all of my enchantment books to different crates and stuff like that. But this bottom floor might just be a fun little hub that has a bunch of crazy stuff in it. And I got four little corners on it. Obviously not corners, but four little like quadrants that I can use for different things. Obviously I need to build the staircase. Something needs to be in the middle. Maybe a cool fountain. I don't really know. But I think that's enough of working on this for this episode. We got 
got some really good progress on this interior. I'm gonna be honest. I really like the way it turned out. And um, yeah, we need to light this somehow. Don't know how I'm gonna do that. Also, let's check on our ceiling. Let's see what's going on up there. Are there gonna be mobs up here? It's nighttime and it doesn't look like there's mobs. Honestly, I think these like eight torches that I put might've done the trick. But yeah, this is easily the biggest build on the server so far. And oh my goodness, it just like, dude, it's ginormous. I cannot wait to do this cool waterfall bridge design with this thing right here. That's gonna have to wait, like I said. I think I'm gonna wait till after December's over when we take down this holiday tree. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of confused on this. So let me know any suggestions you guys have as always. But guys, I think that's gonna about wrap up this shorter episode. I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Obviously, I just worked on one project the entire time. I've been looking at you guys' feedback and I know you guys love build projects. If you guys want me to incorporate other stuff into these projects though, let me know. Of course, this is still a work in progress. So any suggestions you guys have, even as far as things like staining the windows, if you want me to try throwing a certain color glass in all of our windows, let me know. Literally absolutely anything. I love reading your guys' comments, seriously. But let's take fireworks one last time and let's just take a look at this thing because man, it, <laughs> it looks absolutely crazy and crazy in a good way, man. I really love this thing so far. And I think, like I said, we made really good progress today. I'm gonna go ahead and call the video here though. Be on the lookout for back-to-back -back uploads, maybe tomorrow or maybe another day, but I wanted to do daily for two days for you guys since I missed yesterday's, like I said. So if you guys are excited for that, go ahead and subscribe with notifications on. If you made it all the way until the end, I absolutely love you, but it's been your boy Kaz and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.